Welcome to Hood War Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Schoolyard Crips. The Schoolyard Crips, also known as Yang Mob, are a primarily black American gang located in the mid-city neighborhood in Los Angeles, California. They were formed in the 1980s and have around 200 active members. Their neighborhood stretches from Venice Boulevard to the 10 Freeway between Crenshaw Boulevard and La Brea. They are known as Sport New York Yankee Apparel. They are clicked up with the Venice Show Line Crips and their main beefs are with the Playboy Gangsta Crips, Bio Self Gangsta Crips, Mansfield Gangsta Crips, BPS, Rolling 20s, and the 60s. On October 14, 2017, at around 11.15 p.m., Mario Mays, who was from Schoolyard Crips, was dining at the Hot Wings Cafe with his girl Chantel Gray. At around 11.23 p.m., three cars pulled into the parking lot across the street and parked. About seven people got out their cars, talked for a while, then headed toward the Hot Wings Cafe. Among them were Michael, Jason, Ryan, and Luis. Jason and another man entered the restaurant, walked over to the table and gave Chantel a hug. They both had went to high school together. They then headed back to the cash register before returning to the group conjugating outside the entrance. Michael then entered the restaurant and headed toward the back of the cafe. As he passed Mario's table, both men stared each other down. Michael was from the Playboy Gangsta Crips. Meanwhile, Marielle, upset that Chantel didn't introduce him to the men she hugged, left his table and went outside. Jason and Michael followed him soon after. Outside, Mario and Chantel stood to the left of the front door towards North Sycamore Avenue. He then was confronted by the larger group. As the men argued, Chantel overheard gang-related comments like schoolyards. Mario then lifted up his shirt to display a black and silver semi-automatic firearm and said, man, what y'all wanna do? He then started backing up with Chantel. As they were crossing the street, Michael pulled out a gun and started firing. Meanwhile, as Michael was shooting at him, Marcel and Chantel turned left into the alley behind the Hot Wings Cafe. Soon after the gunshots, Hot Wings Cafe customers fled to the back of the store to take cover. Luis and Jason came in laughing and told everyone that it was just fireworks. By this point, Marcel and Chantel had reached their car. As they got in, Marcel told Chantel to duck. She laid down in the back seat and kept her head down below the windows. Marcio then started to drive as he turned a left on La Brea and then a left on Melrose. Marcio then rolled down the windows and fired two shots, striking Ryan in the leg. When authorities arrived on the scene, they found Ryan on the ground, scooting backwards, holding his leg in pain. On November 15, 2017, at around 12.30 p.m., there were about seven BPS members outside the Fame Apartments on 27th Street and 7th Avenue. The Fame Apartments are known as a blood stronghold. As Chantel was driving past the apartments, Marcielle, who was in the passenger seat, told her to stop the car. Mario then bounced out and shot five to six rounds, striking Tion Cooper in the hand and in the leg. Mario ran back to the car and Chantel drove off. On December 4th, 2017, Paul Nelson, who was from the Rolling 20 Bloods, was walking home from school in LaSalle. Mario then told Chantel, who was driving a rental car, to go and follow Paul. At some point, Mario told Chantel to stop the car. Mario exited the passenger side and asked Paul where he was from. Paul responded that he was from Bloods, but that he don't gangbang. Mario then grabbed his waistband and yelled, Twinks. He then started shooting. Paul was struck in the back and in the leg. Police was able to recover nine shell cases from the scene. Mario was charged with three counts of attempted murder and sentenced to 291 years to life. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.